Welcome everyone back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss an important topic, whether you should avoid Windows 11 and stick to Windows 10. So uh, let's get this show on the road. My personal experience with Windows 10 has been like pretty, pretty positive. Windows 10 is like, at first I thought it was terrible because I was so used to Windows 7, but I think that um, Windows 10 has a lot more going for it than Windows 11. What I mean by that is it's really like familiarized. I don't know if that's a word, but it's familiar to many users because it's been out for, I think, seven years now. And upgrading to Windows 11 would require some adjustment and learning to just get back into the swing of using the operating system. Windows 10 is basically like the go-to. Another reason why people would stay on Windows 10 is because of all of the improvements over the years. Mainly because of the stability and reliable, um, uh, how do I say it? So it's just really stable compared to Windows 11. Because Windows 11, being relatively new, might still have some bugs and compatibility issues to iron out. If you prefer a more stable and mature OS or operating system, sticking with Windows 10 could be the safer choice. Some users expressed worries about Windows 11's data collection policies, which can impact their privacy. On the other hand, Windows 10 privacy settings are already well known and users have figured out ways to manage them to suit their preferences. In conclusion, while Windows 11 does bring some new features and improvements, sticking with Windows 10 might be a wiser decision for many users. The familiarity, stability, software compatibility, and privacy control that Windows 10 offers makes it a reliable choice for those who prefer a familiar and robust operating system. Remember, the choice ultimately depends on your specific needs and hardware. If you have a newer device that meets Windows 11's requirements and are excited about its new f upgrading might be worth considering. However, always back up your data before any major OS update and make sure it aligns with your requirements and preferences. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful or entertaining, uh, let me know. Put, put in the comment section what operating system you're using if you're on a computer. And if you're on a phone, you can still tell me whatever operating system you're using, which it's more than likely like Android or something, but hey, it's cool. If you enjoyed, leave a like, a comment, and a sub. Peace.